good morning you guys here's another circuit training for you guys and the core is going to be your foundation in all these workouts and in some of the exercises you're going to need one of these kind of resistance bands if you got one or you can just try going very slow with the legs because you're going to be doing more compound exercises utilizing the lower body with the upper body but focusing on the triceps and the biceps. So in the first move, I got a weight that's going to be the opposite ankle and it'll be the opposite side. So you're going to use your um, left. And what I'm referring to, so the, the first move is a bicep curl with a calf raise and the speed de determines on how fast you go up. And you're going to need a chair, so I'm going to do a bicep curl. And then as I went down, I lower my um, calf. And I'm just going to show you on one leg, and then you'll move to the opposite. And you want to do anywhere from 10 to 12 reps on each exercise. My calves are killing me. And there you go. I figure why show you both legs because you already know the move. Now you'll do opposite leg, opposite arm. And then we'll move on to the next exercise. And in this move, it's going to be a tricep push-up. But before I show you, I just want to say I'm no fitness expert or anything. Just having fun creating these videos and just showing different exercises that you may not always see. And as you can see, some of the exercises I'll probably struggle myself. Like I say, I'm just trying to do them the best like you and yeah just trying to get stronger each and every day trying different things and this one is a tricep push-up and if you can't do it um, on your feet you can do it also on your knees so I'm just going to do more of a diamond push-up this way I'm working those triceps get in a wide stance that's how I'm going to do it and anywhere from 10 to 12 reps. And say if you can't do it on your feet, like I say, you can also do it on your knees. I just want to show you, so I'll do the last six reps on my knees. Or if you want to go down farther, that's another way you can practice. Oh yeah, you can feel those triceps burning. Let's move on to the next one. So the next move is going to be a split lunge with a bicep curl. And then what you're going to do, you'll do six reps on this leg and then six reps on this side. But like I've mentioned, I'm just going to show you on one leg. So you can grab 
drop the weights. As you pull up, you're going to drop down. See how I'm slowly going down and then going up with the weights. Oh my gosh, yeah. When you go slower, you feel it so much more. And there you go. Now you'll do this leg, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. And in the next move, you're going to do a run-in, let me say that again, a tricep extension in a runner's lunge. See, I'm no expert, right? <laughs> so I fumble over my words, but just having fun doing this. So I love working out. I feel like it's the foundation of youth, you know, it just keeps us young. But either way, you're going to get lower in the lunge to do a um, runner's lunge. Get those elbows high, and you're going to just do an isometric hold. So I'm going a little lighter than I normally would. And again, six reps on each leg. Just nice and slow. And that leg is also on fire, too. Okay, now switch legs, then I'll show you the next exercise. You're going to do a bicep curl with a hamstring curl. And if you have one of these, this is the time to pull it out. If you don't, you can still do it, just lift and lower your leg. So I'm going to put the resistance band on one ankle, and then put it on the sole of my foot on the other one. And either you can grab a chair, or I'm going to just use a wall to do this move. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And you're going to do 10 to 12 reps on each leg and arm. Okay, so what you're going to do, curl up, and then down. Oh boy, and can you feel that in your hamstrings? And that's why I like doing these kind of videos, because you see different things and get different ideas. Everything's just on fire. Okay, now we'll do the opposite side, then I'll show you the next exercise. Ready for the next one? Tricep extension in a plank position. And trust me, you're working your core as well, so that's a bonus for you. So get your feet just right, and grab a weight, and you're gonna do anywhere from 10 to 12 reps. 
you'll do it on one arm. I'm just going to show you once on one arm, and then you'll do the next arm after you pause the video. You can feel everything on fire. I'll probably be only able to do t 10 myself. was to start uh, at least yeah like I say anywhere from 10 to 12 reps because if you get to feel like you're starting to compromise the arm then just stop okay so now do this arm and then I'll show you the next exercise next move I'm gonna do a squat with a bicep curl I'm just gonna do bicep And then a squat. Just nice and slow. Like I say, the slower you go, the better. Because this way you're fully engaging those muscles and working them even harder. this workout going to say if you're short on time you're working more, more than one muscle group and it helps you get out of the door a little faster Muscles are screaming by the last rep. Two more. Just to think, we're winding down now. Last rep. Ah, yeah, my muscles are burning. How about you? Okay, so next one is a tricep exercise. So just think when you do a single arm, how much weight you use in a single arm, you're going to double that weight. So what you're going to do, get down in this position, grab the weight, and you're going to do a overhead tricep extension. And be careful, do not drop that weight. Make sure you got a good grip on it. I can feel my arms just quivering. <sighs> and see, I'm failing, so I'm going to grab another weight so I can finish it up. Uh, and if you find the weights too heavy, it's okay to do that. This way you can finish the reps. I was starting to struggle, so. Yeah, that 
that's much better. And that's something I want to show with you too. So if you start doing a move, you find out a weight's too heavy, you're compromising your form, you immediately switch so you don't injure yourself. Yeah, I was starting to struggle, and that's why I want to share that with you. Like I say, I'm just being real with you guys, sharing these workouts, and I struggle myself, and sometimes I'm doing different things, and sometimes you think you could go heavier, but in actuality, you have to go lighter, like I just did. So I'm glad you guys saw that, and i just like to share that with you. Let's do the next exercise. Are you ready for the last move? And I'll be honest with you guys, I'll probably struggle with this one. It's because you're, and you're, because of, in this move, you're having to balance, too. Um, and if you just want to do the bicep curl in the wide stance, that is fine, too. But what the move is... And I, I know I'm going to struggle in this, so you're going to do a bicep curl, come down, do a sumo squat, then raise those calves. See, I know when I can't even go that high on the calves. And if you just want to do the sumo squat, you can also do it that way, too, without the calf raise. Like I said, I love testing my body, my strength. And sometimes the more you do these workouts, the better you will get. So I actually haven't done this one in such a long time, and I know that's exactly why I'm struggling. See, I can't even lift my calves that, that high. But I'm trying. And then say if you wanna, after you're done doing this, you wanna work your calves a little bit more, you can do it without the weights and being in the sumo squat. Because sometimes that's what I'll, I'll do. Yeah, I totally struggled with that, but hopefully you can do better than me. Like I say, I'm just being real and honest with you guys. Just sharing different things with you that I try. But either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You guys take care. And keep on being strong.